anticipated. A lot of folks don't, I don't think, have ever realized what happens in that facility. And that's what some of the, the, the staff there was telling me. Like, they see it off the side of the causeway, they drive past it, but they're like, I don't think people really know yeah. what all we do here. So I'm excited to show you all that at Kenny. Well, I'm excited too. We've got a lot of great educational marine centers dotting mm -hmm. the area here. That's just another example. Excited to see that story. We've got a different view of it here from the LexCam. Looking at the Texas State Aquarium, as seen from the USS Lexington. You see it right there in the foreground, Harbor Bridge in the background, and up high, those same cirrus clouds above our city. It's 91 degrees. The airport is showing those clouds, although it's not overcast. I'd say it's filtered sunshine, if anything, uh, but some clouds out there east to southeast on the winds near 15 miles per hour. Those high clouds off of the showers and storms that have been lurking offshore. Those aren't coming through here. Uh, we do have some sea breeze activity. This is all dwindling, a little shower tracking up Highway 44 in the direction of Freer, another one right over 281 close to the Live Oak Jim Wells County line. Uh, but other than that activity, it looks pretty quiet here. Temperatures are in the 90s and upper 80s, a rain cooled 88 over in Mathis, mid 80s in Port Aransas right now. Heat indices as high as 107. We're going to keep these triple digit feel like temperatures coming. Got this east breeze coming in at about 15 miles per hour. Texas fairly quiet. Remember we were talking about that big surge of moisture coming in uh, on Friday. That's why we're seeing all of those showers out there. This tropical moisture will continue to filter into the region. Friday we will have more moisture, which will likely mean more activity on the sea breeze front. That'll linger into Saturday and as we move into Sunday, that moves to the north, so less of a chance for rain here on Sunday, and it's only going to be isolated activity. We're not looking at widespread coverage where everybody's getting rain. These are going to be few and far between, uh, but Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and even into early next week will all offer uh, different isolated chances for rain each day. Into the middle of next week, things change a little bit. High pressure is going to be with us over the weekend. That splits, and the one that's out to the west moves farther west, making way for a low pressure trough to develop in the eastern half of the country. Our rain chances will hinge on how that moves closer to Texas. Better chances for rain farther away, lower chances for rain. This is Thursday, 830 in the morning. Same time on this graphic a few hours later, but you can see uh, Thursday morning with that stationary front, at least a chance maybe for uh, some more beneficial rainfall uh, rather than just the isolated sea breeze stuff. Tropics remain quiet. Taking a look now between last year and this year, this time we had nine named storms. This year we're at five, so about half the pace as compared to the record setting 2020 that we had. And by the way, it looks quiet through maybe the middle parts of August. So uh, we're still going to be quiet for the next few days. A few dwindling showers this evening, some coastal activity tomorrow, and I do think that we'll see slightly more sea breeze showers than we've seen today with more moisture moving in a southeast wind tomorrow between about 10 and 15 miles per hour. Warm and humid tonight, some inland patchy fog, calm and variable winds overnight. Temperatures tomorrow mid to low 90s east to southeast winds in the afternoon and some isolated sea breeze showers or thunderstorms. High temperatures for the most part mid to low 90s, upper 80s at the coast, heat indices going to be between 105 and 110 for a lot of the viewing area. If you're out on the water, there may be some showers out there, but not a whole lot of activity. Slightly choppy, manageable southeast wind at 10 knots. And for at least the next five days, going to be hot with only isolated showers. Depending on how that low develops to our east by the middle of next week, we may have to up and reintroduce better chances for rain, uh, but we'll keep our eyes peeled on that longer range forecast. Mike, Leslie. All right.